So there's probably not a more controversial device that Apple has released in recent decades than the AirTag. As we've seen over and over again, they can be used as a tool to stalk other people, and because of this, Apple has released a series of updates to make this harder to do so. And it wasn't even until recently that Android had an update to alert you if an AirTag is following you. So using Python to detect an AirTag is actually pretty easy. Let's first import a Bluetooth LE library that we want to use. And I'm going to add some extra imports just for tracking the date and time and the messages that I print out. Now, the important thing to know is that AirTags use a iBeacon protocol. And Apple has a whole developer guide about how this protocol works and the data and the packets. All we need to know is that with the iBeacon protocol, there are a couple of bytes in the beginning that we don't really care about. Then there's a manufacturer ID, which says what company it's by. And for Apple, it's 04C or 72. Then there are a couple of bytes that indicate that this is a Find My device. So let's first go and set the Apple ID. Now let's go and create bytes to represent that this is a Find My data device. Now, like I said, every Apple device emits these bytes. So to separate air tags, we're gonna use a status byte. And the status byte is one of these bytes that correspond to the battery level of the air tag. Full, medium, low, or very low. At this point, we have all we need to do to identify an air tag. Let's go back and let's add the boilerplate code. And the important part is the manufacturer ID. So let's see if the manufacturer ID is equal to the Apple manufacturer ID. Now, if that's true, then what we wanna do is see if the data and the manufacturer data starts with the find my bytes. So at this point, we know it's an Apple device that we've identified. And finally, let's see if the status byte is in one of the AirTag status bytes. If this is true, then it's safe to say that we found an AirTag. So let's just print out a nice friendly message that says that we found the AirTag. Now, what's gonna happen is when I run this and I disconnect the Bluetooth from my iPhone, within a couple of minutes, the AirTag will enter a sort of lost or nearby state in which it'll start creating a Bluetooth LE advertisement, which includes that manufacturer data we saw earlier and the RSA public key and part of its advertisement. And there we go. Now we see it starts emitting this data. So one quick thing I do want to point out is that the actual ID of AirTag is randomized and changes every 15 minutes. So because of this, you won't be able to track a particular AirTag or know which AirTag you're looking at. So like I mentioned, this is a pretty easy thing to do and can work across multiple devices. You just take the same idea and apply it to whatever device that you need. So guys, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe to see more videos I'll be posting soon. And as always, thank you for watching and stay tuned for another galvanizing video. Thanks.